Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. He said, someone's been looking for me. I'm right here. So Moxley and Marina come out. And before Mox and say anything, Darby said, listen, that's enough. He says, you and I, Mox, we're very much alike. We don't act like superstars. Don't live in a fantasy world. We came from nothing. Do anything to not go back to that again. I was a homeless dishwasher. Don't take any of this for granted. My first year in wrestling, I kept looking for a hero. Everyone just showed me how fake they were. Except for you. You didn't change for anybody. I wanted to be like you. Our first match was in a high school gym. And you beat me, but... When it was over, I had the confidence I belonged in the ring with a guy like you. But I would never do to a friend what you did to Brian. And I figured out right then, I don't want to be like you anymore, so what do you want? And John says, well, I'll cut to the chase. You have a world title shot. It's supposed to take place at Grand Slam September 25th, but it's not going to happen. The world champion's indisposed, but that's a blessing for you because you're not ready to be the champion. I don't have time to explain but I'm going to need you to hand over that title shot to me. Darby says, have you been drinking again? You're sounding like everybody you hate in the back. You don't, uh, you didn't earn this. I earned it. And I'm not going to give it to you. If you want it, you're going to have to do something about it. Mox says, well, if you want me to earn it, I'll earn it. Me and you, Grand Slam, your world title shot on the line. And, Ma and uh, Darby accepts. So Moxley and Darby for the title shot at Grand mm -hmm. Slam. Mm-hmm. But later... I was going to say, there's one big problem here. Later, they announced that Danielson's wrestling McGinnis in a non-title match on that show. The entire reason that Darby is not getting his title shot, they said, is because Brian Danielson can't wrestle. Yeah. So they set up another match, and then 20 minutes later, Brian Danielson is wrestling on that yeah. show. Yes. That was yes. bizarre. Yes. That was unique. Yes. Um... And, I mean, I guess I get why Danielson and McGinnis is not a championship match, in theory. But it's like New York, and I don't know. I don't think those those people are like they're they're used to championship matches, not not non titles. You know what I mean? And when you go to a city like New York or L.A., so you know, and what what difference does it make? It ain't like Nigel's winning. Uh, we had a Mariah May, and uh, actually, Nigel showed up to uh, tell Daniels that he wanted to talk to Tony Khan. Then Mariah May beat uh, Queen Aminata with a running knee, and she said, I still have not had my title celebration, but something is missing. Mina, please come back. So I guess Mina's on her way back. So I wonder if they're building to Mariah and Mina for the pay-per-view. Find out here. Yeah, wouldn't be that wouldn't be the worst idea. We had the Young Bucks doing a promo about the gauntlet. The winners will face them at Grand Slam. They're going to watch the gauntlet live. We had the Learning Tree beat Iron Savages and Jack Jameson. And then Jericho did an interview afterwards, and he said, Orange, I know you're not going to give me my $7,000, so I've got your backpack here, and I found this picture in it, you and your former best friends. This is your problem. You're still obsessed with friendship. There are no friends in wrestling. If you have a friend, you're probably being used Pull your hands out of your pockets and get your head out of your ass and pay me my money. So Warren shows up on the big screen, says, I have the $7,000, but it's not all on me. But my boys are bringing your cash. So Kyle and Mark Briscoe show up with a forklift. They poured coins onto Jericho's Bentley. That was weak. They should have had so many more coins than they had. As far as destroying cars goes, was this very... was a very, this was quite the letdown. This was a very... And then Excalibur tried to convince me. This guy tried to convince me that was $7,000 in pennies. I mean, Brother, was... you know how many pennies $7,000 worth of pennies would be? Way more than would fit in that forklift. 700000 Golly, there were not 700000 pennies. Plus, they were silver. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so, so the key there was when Jericho was talking about the friends, Big Bill is just kind of going like... Wait a minute! I thought I was friends with you. You're saying that that if someone thinks that if someone's acting in wrestling like you're a oh, friend, oh no, someone else gonna turn. Oh yeah, no, no. It's, well, obviously, well, Big, Big Bill, Bill will turn eventually. Yes, He'll yeah. Be Big, Big Bill Big was always was I'm sure was always going to, but um, yeah. So we have basically the same thing with uh, which I mean, it's no big deal with WWE. There's probably five teams doing this too, you know, but constantly. So um, yeah, we got at least 
on this show we had uh, Takeshi Dan, we had Big Bill, and and they're not the only ones. You know, there'll probably be others. Um, you know, coming up. Nigel came out for a promo. He said, with Darby putting his title on the line against Moxley, there wasn't going to be an AW, AW title match. Great for the champion, he said, but you know what? As a former world champion, a show like Grand Slam, the champion should at least compete. I've had to watch this man's career from the sidelines as an afterthought. His success should have been mine. He's afraid of me. He's afraid of the one match everybody wants to see. But Tony Khan is not afraid. He knows a money match when he sees one. So at Grand Slam, it is Danielson at McGinnis. The crowd popped pretty big when they actually figured out that there's actually gonna, that match is actually well, happening. He did a hell of a job building it up and announcing it. Well, he's been building it up for, like, ever since since day one when he showed up. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's... Now, now from what I understand, the whole um, McGinnis thing was not like something long planned out. It was something that kind of got thrown together. So all of this now is, is, you know, I mean, I you know, you always thought that they were going to do Danielson and McGinnis before um, Danielson retires. I mean, it had been talked about so often that I figured they have to do it. But, you know, so it's like, I guess New York, you know, is, is a place. And, um, you know, they'll probably, have a, they'll probably have a good match, probably have a great match. Danielson only has great matches. But, uh, you know, it's... Uh, so, so the winner between Moxley. So here's the thing: the winner between Moxley and Darby is going to wrestle Danielson for the title in Tacoma. Yep. Okay. So uh, Darby was at one point winning that match, and he's from the area, essentially, right, Seattle. However, the 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 money match right now is very clearly Moxley. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, that Moxley should beat Brian for the title in Tacoma and try to murder him again afterwards. And Darby makes a save to send everyone home happy. And that's the big match you do down the road from there. You could do that. Um, I think um, Adam Page and Swerve um, as opponents as well for Moxley. Yep, down if, that's, road, yeah. if that's where they go, and they, and I, you know, um, so that would be Danielson's last match, or you know, I mean, he'll 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 do other matches, but sure. I did see the um, the uh, poster for um, the Australia show, and um, you know, one of the key things in there is this: there is no Danielson for fe- so it's February. Hooked in a promo on Roderick Strong and accepted his challenge for the title. Then we had the tag team gauntlet. So it opened up with FTR and Will Ospreay. And, and Kyle Fletcher. Yep, yeah, Kyle Fletcher. And then Vincent and Dutch were out next, and Taven and Bennett. And these guys were getting no reactions whatsoever. And then Claim did get a big entrance, and the fans sang, oh, scissor me daddy for them. MXM was in next. They actually got a pretty big pop. They got, they got, they got a reaction, but God, did they look out of place. A lot of posing and wackiness. Yeah. Top Flight was in next. Fans got in Osprey versus Dante. They did good, Osprey and Dante. FTR hit Bones with a shatter machine. About 50 guys broke it up. Outrunners came out next, got the biggest pop of the entire match. Just body slamming everybody. The place is going crazy. Grizzled Young Vets come out, and uh, they brawl backstage with FTR, so they're out of the match. Both teams are out. Yeah. yeah, and then finally they did a spot where everyone took turns hitting a finish. Dante tried to splash. Fletcher got the knees up. Osprey flew in with a hidden blade. Fletcher cradled him and pinned him. So it is Fletcher and Osprey versus the Bucks at Grand Slam, which sounds incredible. Sounds like, in fact, sounds like, sounds like it'll be an incredible match. Yes, yes. And uh, Osprey's streak of winning every gauntlet he's ever entered continues. Yeah, well, that's the gimmick now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was a pretty good show. It was different. But um, overall, they're building up some new stuff for this next show. They got this thing with uh, well, the only thing just no, no. building up, building up, building up because they had to build up all in, immediately okay, well, build up all out, and now immediately build up Grand Slam. Yeah, and they got to get and they got to get Tacoma too. Well, next week they they only announced one match for next week, right? Um, I don't even remember what it was. Uh, next week they have got actually two. We got uh, Jericho Osprey, or I'm sorry, Jericho and Orange Cassidy. And yeah. the Young Bucks and Okada versus Osprey, Fletcher, and Takeshita. Okay, that's 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 been added. I didn't. They didn't say that on TV because I would have remembered that. 
Yeah, so hopefully Nick's shoulder's better. Yeah. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.